Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a review of a red and infrared red light that I own that people wanted me to uh, do a video about just to review them. Uh, there's a lot of red and infrared light products out there marketed for beauty and health and different things. There's a lot of books out there. It's quite a quite a well-known subject, I guess, but maybe not for everyone. Um, and this is what I'm going to look at today. So this is the red and near infrared uh, bulb that I purchased off Amazon. I probably would buy elsewhere, but Amazon was the only place I could find what I wanted. So half of the bulbs on this are red light. So in other words, red light that we can see, that we perceive as red. And the other bulbs are near infrared, not far infrared bulbs. So when it's switched on, you can't see the light because our eyes can't pick up on infrared light. So just getting information about this particular bulb up on my screen. So on Amazon, there appears to be a lot of different people selling this particular bulb. So it's not just one company. So lots and lots of different names, but it's the same bulb. No matter where I've seen it, it's the same pictures, it's the same bulb, it's the same stuff. Some people have more information on the bulb and what it does, what the wavelengths are, um, more than others. And the prices vary a little bit here and there, but it's basically the same thing. So I bought it from Wolozek, if I pronounce that right. Um, but there are lots of other people selling these. So the red light is 660 nanometers wavelength. And the near infrared is 850 nanometers in wavelength. Why do we want it near infrared and not far infrared? Basically, far infrared works differently on our bodies when we receive it. So it's still beneficial, but in a different way. So far infrared, what it does when it affects the body is it basically warms it up. So if you've ever come across those infrared heaters that a lot of people are starting to use these days, they use far infrared light. Even a normal radiator um, does put out some infrared light, what we call radiation. So it's not just heating through other means, it's heating via radiation as well. That's why we call it a radiator. And so far infrared light has that radiating effect. It heats up things um, when it hits them. So that's what far infrared does. So great for heating homes, and it's cheaper, by the way, if you are interested, heating your home that way using far infrared. And also a lot of the mats that people lie on, um, a lot of the light is far infrared light to warm up our bodies. But this is near infrared light. So near infrared light, when it hits our bodies, does something different. It actually interacts with some of the enzymes in our ATP production cycle. So if you understand much about the mitochondria in our cells and how energy is produced. The energy molecule is called adenosine triphosphate, ATP. And a lot of the enzymes that are used to make ATP are stimulated by near infrared light. And of course, everything in our body requires energy. So if you make proteins, make signaling molecules, if you need anything repaired in your cells or in your body's tissues, if your immune system needs to fight something off, if you want to send more signals for your body, for your nervous system, it all requires energy. And so the more energy you have, the better you are able to do lots of processes in your body. You know, they function better. And so it's much easier for the body to heal if there's more energy available. So that's what near infrared light does in a nutshell. So because all disease processes require some energy to reverse, to heal, 
it can affect a great variety of different diseases. So, uh, by the way, red light does this as well. So even red light that we see does have this effect as well. But the difference is that red light that we can see with our eyes tends to only really affect the surface of our skin. Near infrared light has the ability to penetrate through the skin and deeper into the body. So if you want to, for example, work on an arthritic knee or some IBS or other gut issues, that kind of thing, then you will need near infrared light in order to penetrate deep enough to start affecting that tissue. So that's a brief explanation of the science behind it. There's more you can look up, of course, about it. Plenty of scientific uh, articles you can read. And I'll put a, li a link down to one of the books I recommend that you read, written by Mark Sloan, that uh, is a very good starter book if you want to understand this. And he also gives some tips about how to use these as well. So let's switch it on. So by the way, when you look on Amazon, you can either buy it just as the bulb, and it's a screw. So as you can see, it's just a standard screw type of bulb. Not one of the small bulbs, it's a normal sized screw fitting. And then some of the people who sell these on Amazon sell them with uh, an attachment. So you can literally just screw it in like this. So this is how I bought it. I bought it with the attachment because I wasn't sure what size the screw was. There we go, so it fits in like so. And then here is a clip. So we can clip it to different surfaces. So some of my friends, instead of using this, they've just screwed their bulb into a normal lamp that they have that they can move around and position how they want. I've personally got this because I do travel. So this clip-on thing is quite useful for clipping on things and putting it in the position I want. So for example, I can clip it to the bottom of this here. It's probably going to make the picture move a bit because it's not stable. And of course, I can turn it to whatever direction I want. So if I wanted to do the top of my head because I want to work on the skin on my scalp, then I can position it like so and sit underneath like so, quite close to my head. And then there's a little switch here which you can switch on. So there it is. So depending on what area of your body you want to work on, of course, you want to position it in a different way. A lot of the time you are going to want to lie on your side in bed and then position the lamp on the bed a couple of feet away from you so that you can target the area you want. So lying on your side is a very good way of targeting most of the body, um, but you can attach it to things. This isn't the most ideal, of course, but attaching it to a proper lamp or you know something where you can position it and move it into the position you need to affect the part of the body that you want. So if I take this off, So as you can probably see, I don't know how clear it is in the camera, it's quite bright. So you can see some of these lights are red that you can see and some of them look like they're off. So like I say, you can't see with your physical eyes near infrared light. So don't worry if it looks like they're off. That's um, just part of what the bulb does. So. How do I feel about this particular product? I like it. <laughs> um, I was searching for a product based on Mark Sloan's advice that would give a good output, a high wattage, um, because the higher the power output, um, the better it is at a distance from you. So if it has a lower power than the red light and the infrared light doesn't it starts to fade. It's by the time it hits me, it's not very strong. So I want it to be quite high wattage, quite high power, so that I can put it quite far away from the body and have the light hit more of my body, which is an important um, point to make later. By the way, um, so a high wattage is important. You will find bulbs out there that have a lot more bulbs. 
so that if you do place it close to the skin, it's probably better. But of course, because each of those bulbs aren't very high power, they're not high wattage um, at a distance, even if just one foot away, you know, it loses a lot of its power. So I wanted one that was quite a high wattage. So this one, I think, I'm not sure if it says on this particular, and I'm looking at, yeah, it doesn't say on this particular one. But I know that this was a high enough wattage for my purposes. So the power output is important, not necessarily the amount of bulbs. That's one of the reasons I bought this one. So my thoughts on it, is it useful? I know that the other reason I bought this, by the way, is because I did have a friend who bought this before me. And so I was able to try it out and talk to them about it. So I already had some people given a device on it. Um, I have found it very useful. Um, I know my wife likes to use this on her face for her beauty. <laughs> uh, for me personally, I find it very useful for energy levels. So if I'm feeling a bit stressed, if I'm feeling like I need a little bit more energy, like my kidneys and adrenals are feeling a little fatigued from a day's work, then I can lie on my side couple of feet away, direct this at my kidneys and adrenals, and of course get a quite a big section of my back radiated. And I do feel some benefit from that. It does feel like there's a little bit more energy available. The most noticeable thing I've found personally is when I injured my back climbing, and it was pretty painful, and I knew it was a muscle on the front surface of my lumbar vertebrae. So it's not something you could easily get at and massage. So I thought, let's lie on my side, direct the light at my lower back, again, a couple of feet away. So it's also including the back of my pelvis and the middle of my back as well. So it's getting a large area. And I felt after maybe 10 minutes, it started to feel like something was happening, like I could sense something changing. And after a quarter of an hour, 20 minutes, it felt tingling going on, like the pain was being reduced. So I would do that twice a day at least uh, when I injured my back and longer, uh, closer to when the injury was, of course, because I couldn't really move very comfortably. And I felt it did really help. So it really helped with that. Um, I know my friend who got this bulb before me, uh, he was using it on his head, so he's not as bold as me. <laughs> I think he caught it much earlier. So he's been meditating under this lamp. And again, a couple of feet away and just on his head. So he's not getting a big section of his body irradiated by this. Uh, but he's just targeting it at his head whilst he's meditating. And he says he has noticed more hair growing back over the... Uh, month and a half, two months that he was using it. So he was quite impressed by that. <laughs> um, yeah, so those are my experiences. So I definitely feel that something's going on. Like I quite often say with a lot of my reviews, myself and my wife, we're pretty healthy people. A lot of, a lot of my friends are pretty healthy people, so we don't necessarily need these things. And therefore, we don't necessarily notice the big sudden amazing changes that other people do that aren't quite so healthy because we're already quite healthy we're all already pretty good with our sleep and our, our food and our exercise and so on uh, but i do highly recommend this i really do and when you look at the price on amazon uh, this one's 30 39 in us dollars um, which if you take into account postage to the uk and the tax, that's probably about £35-ish, including the postage and the tax. Um, for those of you in the UK, so it's pretty cheap. It's, you know, pretty cheap thing that you don't have to worry about spending lots of money to see whether it works or not. Um, and as you can see, I'm here in Sweden at the moment, so I, I put this in my travel bag because <laughs> it's not too big. Quite an easy thing to take with me, unlike my hydroxy machine at home. There's no way I'd have to be able to travel with that. So, yeah, a good, a good pillow kit, that is for sure. Um, 
There are lots and lots of different diseases that people have mentioned that this is really helps with, particularly skin issues, particularly issues that are inflammatory that supposedly don't have a cure. A lot of people have been talking about cysts, so I have a cyst here in my neck that I should really direct the light at at, at some point, but people have been mentioning cysts, um, fatty lumps, um, all sorts of different things that slowly start to disappear when they use this on their body. Um, and a lot of different injuries as, as well that have been helped, like uh, knee injuries, uh, arthritis, that kind of thing, a lot of people have talked about. Of course, because this is affecting your mitochondria and the production of energy, you still have to make sure you look after your diet and your sleep patterns, etc. Um, because this is only one aspect of what can help you. Um, so don't forget the other stuff as well, because if you work from more than one angle with any particular disease, then obviously you're more likely to help um, cure that. So don't just rely on products like this alone, but they can definitely be of help. My recommendations, which are based on what Mark Sloan was saying in his book, was based on the fact that a lot of people bought these things and found that nothing was really happening. And so with testing, he realized that it's actually better to get the red and infrared light hitting more of the body than just the problem area. So for example, if you have arthritis in your finger joints, just irradiating your hands with this might not be enough because this arthritis is an inflammatory disorder. It's a, th a thing that affects a lot of the body. It's not just going to be the fingers. So irradiating, so he was recommending, for example, putting it a couple of feet away from the body, folding the, the legs a little bit so that the light was hitting the legs, hitting the stomach, hitting these important digestive organs here and the heart and the lungs so that you're getting more of the body and putting your hands here so that light was hitting the hands. So not only are you targeting the hands, but you're targeting a lot of the rest of the body that can help with the inflammatory process of arthritis. And after that piece of advice, that particular lady did see some improvement with her arthritis. So that's uh, an important tip, you know, the more of the body you can hit with this light, the more the different parts of the body can help each other and help the particular disease that you might have. So don't just rely on putting it, directing it at just one thing. Which brings me back to the point of making sure that the wattage of the lamp you buy is high enough. If the wattage wasn't high enough, and I try to target as much of my body as possible, then a lot of the light would have diminished, it wouldn't be uh, as strong by the time it hits my body and it wouldn't have as much of an effect. So that's why the wattage needs to be quite nice and high. So yeah, overall I do recommend this. It is cheap, so it's something that's not going to break the bank if you find it doesn't work for you. Um, yeah, so if you like uh, me to do more reviews on certain things like this that I might own, just let me know in the comments section or email me, of course. Most people seem to chat to me or email me to let me know what they would like in the videos. Um, yeah, and if there's any advice or experiences you've had with red light therapy, then please put them in the comments section below as well. And please do like and subscribe if you'd like to support this channel, and I will see you in the next video.